Hi, my name is Matsuri and welcome back to my channel where I review, rant and discuss about shows or movies that I've recently seen. And today's review is on Banana Fish. This anime was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to start a YouTube channel and talk about anime and reviews and whatnot because this anime was so good that I don't know why not a lot of people were talking about like I don't know why it wasn't as popular as it should be like I feel like it deserved more hype I mean I understand why it doesn't at the same time but in my opinion I feel like a lot of people should have been talking about like I should have known about this anime when it came out because it's just so good and I'll get into that in my thoughts as you can see with my excitement <laughs> so for those who haven't seen it or are thinking of seeing it here's the rundown of the story our main character is Ash Lynx a 17 year old boy who is a leader of the street gang one night he finds a dying man who tells him an address gives him a necklace and the word banana fish finding out that the mob boss Dino Golze used his gang members to help kill this mysterious man, Ash realises that there is something bigger that's going on. While trying to find the meaning of banana fish, Ash meets Eiji Okamura, a 19 year old boy who came to New York to report on the street gangs with his mentor Shuichi Ibe. Ash finds himself showing his vulnerable side when he is with Eiji and the two of them find themselves forming a strong bond. With the help of Eiji, will Ash be able to find the true meaning behind banana fish? I apologize for the fact that the story is a bit short but that's because I feel like if I say any more it's a bit spoilers. I want people to actually go into this blind like I did because it was one hell of an emotional roller coaster ride. I felt like I was watching like a really long action movie. Seriously, Ash does not get a break in this whole series. Anything bad you can think happened happens and it's just oh so hard to watch at times although at the start i said that i want this show to become popular i can see why it didn't necessarily become popular and i think it's because it does deal with sexual abuse and although it doesn't show anything graphic it does imply that ash had been groomed by Dino to be a sex slave when he was a younger age. And yes, I say younger age because let's not forget Ash is only 17. And the sad part about this and the hardest thing to watch about this show is that Ash doesn't care about his body as much. Like, because he's been through so much abuse, he knows that that's what his, you know, his body is good for. So he does take advantage of it sometimes to kind of get what he wants. But that's even if the other person is rough with him. Like there was at least two times when it is implied that he was awkward. Like imagine being 17 years old and that's the only world you know like using your body and also how corrupt the world is like that's his life and that's how he's been living so he wants to get out of it oh god now i'm tearing up just thinking about it <laughs> it's just really sad knowing that and which is why it's so sweet when there's moments between ag and ash because from Ash's point of view, A.G. is someone that is so pure and so naive. Like he's from Japan, he doesn't know any gun violence. Um, and he's just this pure being. Like he just wants to protect this person. And from A.G. to Ash, Ash is just someone that, you know, is so young but is in such a corrupted world that he just wants to take him out of it and take him with him to back to Japan so he doesn't have to deal with this anymore. So that's the kind of bond that they have. 
and this is where I feel like I will get some unpopular opinions from banana fish fans but for me in the manga originally they are canon that they are a couple but watching it without thinking of it as a BL anime um, it didn't seem to me like they were romantically together like it just seemed like it was more I wouldn't say romance but it's not romance like yes it, it's probably gonna tilt towards romance like you could probably take it as romance but I don't know for me it just felt like they just they just seemed like they had like a special bond that necessarily isn't romantic and it was just sweet to see that interaction but it's uh, like i said this show is such an emotional roller coaster that it's just those moments are just few and far between and it just breaks your heart every time they get separated and i feel like i spoiled it a little bit but just keep that in mind while you're watching it that it's just an emo <laughs> emotional roller coaster that makes you want to cry because of the sweet moments and oh my god I'm not gonna spoil it but F the ending like don't get me wrong it's a good ending but F the ending seriously Ugh. and I could go on for ages about the story because I Again, it's a really good anime, but I don't want to go into spoilers because I don't want to do a rant instead. So, because this one's a review. Now, although I said that I like this anime, there's one complaint I have. And it's not really a complaint, but I have to address it. And it's the fact that even though I don't like dubs because it just changes the feel of the anime or the world that it's meant to be in but because this is set in New York in America they're all meant to be speaking English and the thing that threw me off is the fact that there's a scene in it where AG teaches Ash Japanese but <laughs> like the only way the only thing they change is the way he just pronounces some of the words in japanese it's called katakoto but like not perfectly saying it like he would be like Gezumo, and you're like sure so again it's not a complaint <laughs> oh it is a complaint i just find it weird that's the only scene that i found weird so i would i'm kind of wanting to hear the dub version if it is out oh. we shall see i mean I would love to see an Hollywood adaptation of this, not a Japanese one because I don't want to see more Japanese people speaking Japanese doing the same thing, you know what I mean? But I'll just leave that. Now my favourite character hands down is Ash because, you know, he's smart he's strong he's good looking and even though this like all this bad stuff happens around him he's always able to make fun of the situation like he is one part the comedic bit of the anime because without it this anime is very dark and depressing so they use him as a way to make it a bit light heart not light hearted but like a bit ease off the dark stuff from time to time and I think he would be everyone's favorite character just because he's he's really humble like he's a good balance of you know smart but not cocky except for one scene but when you see it it's funny and he's He's strong, but he doesn't overuse his power to show you that he's like a boss or anything. Like he acts like a big brother and a leader to his gang and friends. He acts like a cunning and mature person in front of the adults. 
but then he also shows his like 17 year old childlike side to Iggy. He shows a whole range of emotions and that's why he's my favourite character. Now should you watch the anime? If you have been a victim of sexual abuse or if that kind of thing triggers you, I will not recommend it. Um, because like I said, it doesn't show anything, it just implies it throughout the show. Um, but this anime to me was good because it felt really real. It made me feel that's the kind of life it would have been if I was in that world and at that time because fun fact I guess the manga was actually created in 1984 so pretty much it's you can kind of tell because of the way they're all dressed that it was in the 80s but they modernized it by you know adding smartphones and tablets and stuff like that I feel like that's what life would have been like if you were in that situation or if you were in that world in the 80s and that's why I think this is a really good anime like if you like crime drama shows I would highly recommend you have a go at this like sometimes the sh situations Ash is in can be a bit unbelievable but overall the plot well, the story is really good so I, I kind of like skimmed over that <laughs> and the one thing I wish is like I said I would love if Hollywood is able to do a live action adaptation of this one because I feel like it's a really easy story to adapt as long as they make sure it's accurate to the manga or the anime series but and that's just my opinion like I said I feel like because I feel like if it's in Japanese again they'll just have Japanese people look foreign and again it's just that whole cultural appropriation thing like why not just have it as Americans just do it you know what I mean you just have you know have the right people just have the two Japanese people in there <laughs> Everyone else can be American, um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like Japan won't be able to do it well, so I wish it would be American, but I know Americans always aren't really good with Japanese adaptations, so we'll see. But I think it will be a really good live action adaptation. But yes, that's it from me. Leave me a comment, have you seen it or are thinking of seeing it? If you have seen it, who's your favourite character? But yes, remember to subscribe for more rants and reviews coming soon. Give me a like if you can and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!